This week, Elon Musk made a presentation on behalf of SpaceX, one of the many uh, interesting technological companies that he runs, uh, pleading once again for America and for humanity to make serious uh, the possibility of having manned missions to Mars and establishing a permanent and eventually self-sustaining uh, civilization on Mars, which provides me with another excuse to talk about going to Mars. And so uh, in his presentation, Elon Musk, as he often does, uh, came up with some interesting innovations. He wants to change the way uh, that we would send people to Mars to bring down the cost. And he has uh, some really interesting ways that he would um, manage the refueling of craft in orbit to bring down the costs of sending uh, each individual ship uh, to Mars uh, to reuse spacecraft as SpaceX has been working on uh, the, the, the boosting up of uh, some portions of the spacecraft and then relanding it, fueling that up, and then doing multiple trips to take down the cost. And uh, he's a smart guy, and he comes up with really interesting ideas, and I think that this is a kick in the pants that we need uh, to, uh, to get the funding that would be required to, uh, to get us to Mars. Now, that funding is still the problem because despite the innovations that are described uh, during his presentation, many of these technologies haven't actually been developed, although they are being worked on. And his current estimates that we would need to get down from is that to send one person to Mars would cost about $10 billion. So that's obviously far too much uh, money if you want to, as he described, start sending people within six years and within just a few decades or up to a hundred years have a million people on Mars. That number is going to have to get way, way, way lower. Um, but I do think that this is something that we need to jump on. And there's a couple of different reasons for that. Uh, one is that like with the, uh, the, the, the big project to get uh, man, uh, men on the moon, this is an opportunity that could uh, develop multiple other technologies, not necessarily having to do with directly with space travel. Uh, when we go to all the trouble of working on miniaturization, uh, figuring out how to get people to live for long periods of time, up to six months possibly in a very small, like uh, basically double the size of a, of a Boeing, um, like to, to be able to do that. I mean, these are things that will have ramifications for people living still on Earth. Uh, we've seen that with uh, space programs up until this point, obviously having to do with communication, computers, and things like that. And so, although the investment seems difficult to make, the necessary tens of billions of dollars that would have to go into this plan to have uh, a civilization uh, established on Mars, that could reap God knows how many billions of dollars worth of benefit for the people who would never actually step foot off of Earth. And that is something that I don't think that we should miss. But that sort of technological, the consumer side of it, that would simply be a silver lining. Because as he made clear, there is a very good reason that we should send people to Mars, uh, whether we find anything there or not. And that is that so long as we remain a species that exists on only one planet, we are susceptible to all sorts of threats to the continuation of that species. And uh, he laid out basically that there's one of two worlds. We can say we're not going to spend the money, we're not going to make the difficult uh, technological leap, the, uh, the, the harnessing of social will to send people to Mars, and then there are all sorts of extinction level events that could and indeed over a long enough time period will happen on Earth that could wipe out humanity. Or we can embrace our future which lies amongst the other planets of our solar system and eventually other solar systems as well. Uh, it's not just good in terms of inspiring future generations of Americans and humans from around the world to uh, engage in uh, careers in technology and science, but it also is essential in the long run for the continuation of our species. And Elon Musk, who is an inspirational guy, he's taking this very seriously. He had one quote that I want to read. He says, the reason I am personally accruing assets is to fund this. I really have no other purpose than to make life interplanetary. And I understand it's very easy for us to get caught up in the very real uh, political and social and technological issues that we face on a daily, day-to-day -day basis on Earth. But in the long run, this should be one of the driving missions of humanity, uh, especially considering the way that we're currently treating our planet and lacking the will to deal with climate change. So anyway, uh, personal interest of mine, thankfully an interest of someone with far more uh, technological uh, uh, innovation in mind, the ability to harness resources and get people working on this. Elon Musk working on it. I'm glad that other people are finally taking it seriously. And so I look forward to the first missions to Mars actually getting off the ground. And that's my final judgment.